Detroit, the near future. Officer Alex J. Murphy and his partner, Ann Lewis, fight to rid the decaying city of the criminal element which infests it. After being mortally wounded in the line of duty, Officer Murphy is outfitted by OCP with bulletproof titanium robotic parts and with computer-enhanced motor and sensory capabilities. He has become the ultimate super cop. Robocop. in old Detroit. However, police remain confident they can control the recent rise in criminal activity. And these reports are exaggerated. The streets of old Detroit have never been safer. In fact, I... So, until things cool down out there, we suggest you keep those doors and windows locked. See? Even RoboCop can't be everywhere at once. True, Dr. McNamara. Perhaps we should develop something new to help the police operate more effectively. What about my enforcement droid, Ed-260? No. I'm afraid we need a totally new approach. But, sir... Yes. A new approach could be very profitable to OCP. Please begin work immediately. Yes, sir. Training drill, not a garden party. Yes, sir. Yeah! Hmm. 205. Not bad, men. What do you mean, not bad? If that's the best these overgrown Cub Scouts can do, why they wouldn't last five minutes in old Detroit. Let me show you how it's done. Set the difficulty factor at 10. But, Lieutenant, I don't think it's a good idea to. That's an order, Sergeant. Oh, yes, sir. Ready when you are, Sergeant. I hope so. <laughs> oh, I know you don't. Did you see that? Keep your eyes open, kid. You might learn something. <laughs> Careless in my old age. I'm gonna take the detour. For an old codger, huh? Hey, look at that! It's Robocop! Robocop! Oh, I've seen Robocop! He's gonna tell me. Holy cow! Look at the size of him! Greetings. What in blazes is that walking scrap he doing here? I've just installed a new program, so his reflexes will be 0.07% faster. I want to test him. <clears throat> Are you ready, Robocop? Yes, Dr. Tyler. Oh, brother. That bucket of bolts moves like a three-legged tortoise. <laughs> There's no way he can touch my score. We'll see about that, Lieutenant. You may begin, Sergeant. Right. <laughs> has some pretty good moves, Lieutenant. Yeah, every cop should be equipped with titanium steel plate. But he'll never make it over that wall. You were saying, smart guy? Demolished Hitchcock's record. Looks like the tortoise caught the hair, Lieutenant. Congratulations, Murphy. Great score. 
<laughs> I'll say. But not as good as I'd hoped. We'll have to go back to maintenance for further adjustments. Yes, Dr. Tyler. Aw, oh, come on, Doc. Give him a break. I'd like to give him a break right across his steel skull. No! Look out! Pardon me. Oh, sorry. I said be careful with that, you clumsy contraption. Thank you. Have a nice day. I knew I should have replaced that chip in your logic circuitry. But right now, I've got more important things to do, like testing this new fusion ray. Now, let's see. I'll add this to my new design. Whoever wears this robotic suit will be unstoppable. <laughs> yes, I have finally made Robocop obsolete. He did what to your begonias? Don't worry, ma'am. We'll send out a patrol right away. Officer Lewis, domestic disturbance at the Renaissance Towers. No sweat, Sarge. I'm on my way. Ah! Oh, uh, I I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Why, I ought to report you for this, Lewis. <clears throat> but I might be persuaded to forget this incident if you dump your nomadic partner and step out with me tonight. Lieutenant, I'd be happy to go out with you. When pigs can fly. Someday I'll show her who's the better man. And it isn't that clanking cyborg. Come on, partner. Let's roll. What's that again? A payroll heist at Granny Johnson's Bakery? I'll get someone right on it. I'll take that call, Sergeant. Come on, man. Let's move out. This is the police. Come out with your hands up. Stay back. You try and move in, the old lady gets it. Well, I never... You men hold the perimeter. I'm going inside. Didn't your mother teach you to respect your elders? And just look at those clothes. No wonder you can't get a decent job. You're beginning to get on my nerves, lady. Drop it, punk. Police! Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> What in blazes? <laughs> Looks like you're stuck, copper. Oh, dear. We just got the bulletin. What's going on in there? I'm not sure. Lieutenant Hedgecock went in alone. Stop that, you hooligan. <laughs> it's been nice knowing you, copper. Hold it right there, laughing boy. Huh? <laughs> Murphy, are you all right? How do you like that? Got both you and Robocop with one shot. <laughs> Murphy! Drop your weapon. Not a chance, Robo Twerp. You drop it, and the old lady gets it. My God! That'll teach you, you young whippersnapper. What's the matter, molasses head? All those sweets giving you a toothache? Robocop's the only pain I got. That titanium tinker toy butted into my operation and stole my arrest. You just want to make me look bad, you reckless robot. Hold your horses, hotshot. Murphy's simply doing his job, like a good cop. You're just jealous he's more of a man than you. More of a man than me? Excuse me. Dr. Tyler said she wants to run a few more tests. That woman's work is never done. I've had it with Mr. Buckethead. He's gotten in my way once too many times. If I had the chance, I'd pulverize him. Really? You bet, Doc. I've been waiting a long time to pay back that talking trash compactor. Well then, Lieutenant, I have a very interesting proposition for you. 
One that I'm sure you can't refuse. Excellent. Everything is ready. Hey, this monkey suit feels like a ton of bricks. Do not worry, my friend. Once you see what it can do, I don't think you'll have any complaints. First, a little target practice. That's what I call real shooting. Bravo, Lieutenant. Now let's see how good your reflexes are. Don't want your head screws to make a fool out of me! Yeah! Oh, I'm a regular cowboy! <laughs> You're much more than that, Lieutenant. Try engaging the jetpack. Okay, Doc. Hey, this is great! So what else can this baby do? Patience, Lieutenant. I have just one more test for you. And 260. I order you to surrender. Uh, are you kidding? Oh! Take that, you overdose dump truck! The Enforcement Droid Series 260 is not programmed for failure. Always a first time! Stop program for failure! For failure! For failure! <laughs> Robocop will never be able to match me! That's exactly what I'm counting on, Lieutenant. No problem, Doc. Because I'm gonna flatten that walking waffle iron for good! <laughs> stronger than ever. Why, of course, Roosevelt. I've revamped his circuitry, thereby increasing his power input. Uh-oh, something's up. <laughs> Look who's here. Sir, is something wrong? Dr. McNamara will be unveiling his latest crime prevention device here. Huh. I wonder what that second-rate charlatan is trying to pass off now. What in the world is that? <laughs> Please identify yourself. What's the matter, Shorty? Don't you recognize me? Hedgecock? Upsie Daisy? As you can see, Robocop is simply outmoded. Quite impressive, Doctor. Why, thank you, sir. This is, of course, just a taste of what the power suit can do. Production of the new power suit should begin at once. I beg to differ, Dr. McNamara. Nothing can compare to my creation. Hardly. Robocop is a thing of the past. My power suit is the future. Wouldn't you agree, sir? My only concern, Doctor, is which project would profit the company the most. I propose a test to decide which one is truly the best. What do you say, Chin Man? Ready to go a few rounds with me? I am ready when you are. All right! Robo will make mincemeat out of that phony. I don't feel good about this, Roosevelt. If Hedgecock wins, it'll mean the end of Robocop. The rules of this test are quite simple. The winner must disable his opponent. I have no doubt that Robocop will prove to be the superior machine. I sincerely hope your boy has been taking his vitamins, Tyler, because my power suit is invincible. We shall see. Are we ready to begin? Yes, sir. Everything checks out A-OK. -okay. Then proceed with the test. All right! Wait, get my hands on that toaster head. I'll crack him! I must find Hedgehog before he finds me. Located. Where is that lily lunchbox? I am here, Hedgecock. 
then let's party! Try this on for size, Lieutenant. <laughs> you see, Robocop is definitely a superior product. Don't jump to conclusions, Dr. Tyler. The test is over, Lieutenant. What a big trash can, man! Looks like you failed the exam with flying colors! Wrong! <laughs> the test has just begun. <laughs> is rapidly deteriorating. With his energy almost completely drained, Robocop is heading toward permanent shutdown. Oh, no! Hitchcock's out to kill him! You've got to stop the test! Let's not get hysterical, Lewis. Forfeiting the match might endanger the Robocop project. The test must run its course. I agree. What's wrong with you people? That's a man up there, not just another OCP product. I've got to help Murphy before Hitchcock kills him. This is not going to be easy. Can't hide forever, Robocop. Tired of my cat most. There's the little tin soldier. This is what I've been waiting for. One small step for man, one giant leap into oblivion for Robocop! Look out! Officer Lewis? Lewis! Robocop! What's that cop Lewis doing out there? This is the perfect resting place for you, Robocop! The junkyard! Lewis! No, it can't be. I've lost contact with Robocop. I think we can begin power suit production now, sir. Indeed. Look! There! Over there! Something's moving! <laughs> She's dead. Or dying, I can't tell. System's faulty. Hedgecock, I must stop him permanently. Did you see it? I aced that sucker real good. No, you didn't, you idiot. He's right there. What the... <laughs> Lieutenant! Yeah! Oh, you're gonna kill me! You crazy robot! You can't do this to me! I got rights! I'm a cop! You're programmed only to harm criminals! You murdered Lewis Hedgecock, and you're going to pay! No! No! Murphy! Don't! Don't do it! I'm... I'm okay. Just a little banged up, that's all. But Hedgecock is still guilty of attempted murder. Everything is on videotape. We can bring him up on charges later. You have the right to remain silent. Hey! You have the right to an attorney. This was a legitimate contest. She had no business being here!
Congratulations, Dr. Tyler. Your cybernetic supercarp is indeed a sound investment. Thank you, sir. Now, as for that videotape. Ah, yes. Tapes are such a delicate things, so easily erased. Terminate the power suit project. I don't want to spend one more dime on that pile of junk. But I... Yes, sir. Oh, why did you do that? We could have nailed Hedgecock to the wall with that tape. We also could lose funding for the Robocop project if that tape got out. Robocop nearly lost control out there. Yeah. I guess he's more human than we'd like to think he is.